channel again. This today is the continuation of the panel data analysis and we are going to talk about the unit truth test. Here we are going to be dealing with the KPSS and then we have the LLC, this loving lane, chew, and then we have the ADF test. So I will go back to greater as we are dealing with the same data set. First of all, I will I'll perform it one after the other for all the variables. We will not do it for sorry, we are not going to do it for all the variables because we need to go through all the various type of text um unit root text that's stated in the word document. So let's use GDP. We go to variable, you can see unit root. Here we are dealing with KPSS. So click on it and then it gives you this option. So let's click on OK. Do you know why we are getting it this way? The reason is that we didn't select show regression results and it's only showing you the output in a summary form. First of all, let's go back again, close this one, click on variable, go to KPSS, then here you can tell it to include this one and also click on OK. So what the indication shows here is that it means that here these are the p-values and you know the p-values must be less than um, they must be less than five percent to reject the null hypothesis and as you can see from this place when you're using the kpss unit root test the null hypothesis says that the group are stationary it means that there is no unit root in the variables that is that is the null hypothesis that is the ho so when you come here we need to use the p values to judge these things you can see that here the p value here is is less than five percent this one is also less than five percent and this one is less than five percent so this means that there is no unit root presence in the variable we are we have in question so you can copy them and paste them here and um under this point when you're using the kpss it's have this sub test that it performs under the unit root test it has the invest chew square and it have the inverse normal test logit test so that is why i created the table for this format first you need the statistics that is for this one so you copy it make sure you're putting it at the right place this is this one and also you can put the p value in the bracket or you can leave it this way and put the asterisk like this because this is at five percent five percent i guess yeah and also you have this one you copy this one and paste it and you put your which is i guess yeah one percent and you do it for this one as well you copy it and you paste it but remember remember that i can put it this way as well some people want three decimal place so i'll do it this way and this one to the same principle for this one the same principle and this is for gdp so you can put gdp So the next step is, I'll close this one, 
and let's say do it for do it for trade openness let's see put it on trade openness go to this point and select kpss the same steps then you can see the same thing here we have this we have to copy it and paste it here put that steps because it has one person so i will just use this one and okay it's supposed to be 30 this one the same principle goes copy this one as well then paste it so you put your steps and the last one so you paste so this is trade openness I guess yeah trade openness so I'll put the name trade openness so once I have this I will just change the boldness by using this so this is for the kpss and indeed here we are rejecting the null hypothesis and it says that there is no unit root presence in the variables and indeed you can see here that all the variables are stationary at levels so we can also go to the KP, we, are, we can go to the next unit root test. We are using the same variables here. We are going to put GDP, okay, and we will put trade openness. And here, the null hypothesis state that all the group are non stationary, it means that there should be a unit root present. The authentic hypothesis state that all the groups are stationary so the alternative state that there is no unit root and we need to perform it for the all the variables that we have used before like gdp and trade openness so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go to gdp variables again the same principle select this one and you can see that it's using test with constant so i'll click on this one and as you can see here we are going to use this ones these are the test statistics here so we copy and then we can paste it here and also we can copy the p-value which is this one and paste it so it says that indeed the variables at level do not have a unit root because the p-value is greater than five percent and therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis so the same thing goes for trade openness let's check trade openness variable go to this point and then we click on OK and as you can see here the same principle we copy this one and we paste it so here to the same term it says that the variables have in truth at levels because their p-value is greater than five percent and the same thing goes for the we have to do it for the ADF so we put GDP okay it should be in capital GDP and trade openness trade openness and like I do okay this one I need to change the color and also 
this one the same principle so if you go to the gdp and you go to new truth you select the augmented decay filler test and this one is going to give you a constant and also we click on ok so you can see here the same principle for the other one for the kpss is used here. it also used the inverse and the log it and inverse normal so you put your statistics here and you can see that there is no intrude so we will not put any asterisk on them so we just paste them here we paste them here so we are going we are not going to add in our stage because they are not significant there's no significant part of it and also paste this one so i will delete up to three decimal place same principle three decimal place and also do it for trade openness so because their p values check here the p values are greater than five percent that is why we fail to reach a dinner hypothesis and let's go for trade openness here click on here augmented so you go with this and then click on ok and you can see the same thing for trade openness it is not significant so i'll paste everything here because they are not significant we will not add any asterisk to them or the stars the stars shows the significance level or significant codes for these variables so it shows that at five percent significance level the variables are non-stational as we have stated here that is the null hypothesis and here the alternative hypothesis states that the variables ha do not have a unit root so here we fail to reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the variables have unit root at levels and at this point that is the unit root test using greater impanel data analysis but if you want to run a phase difference is the same principle you can go to variable let me use this one go to variable no sorry go to variable and to go to unit root let's say let's use this one or adf first and instead of using the variables at level instead of using variables at level we can use the first difference so you take first difference and also let this one okay you can also take this one show individual results but since we need it for all the variables just click on this oh thing. sorry there is an issue it's got crashed so i'll just try and redo it again sometimes when these variables when this when the when greater is overused it gets crashed at some point so i will just quickly load the variables again and and okay click on okay and yes the panel and forward we are using the same okay forward i just got the notification so it's the same principle 1980 never mind i just make sure that the video is in the raw state and you will be encountered with a lot of issues at some point it will get crashed and you need to reopen it again that's why i'm not going to edit this video i'll put it on the raw state so that you understand so for us to avoid this one you can usually also add first defense of the variable that you want to test for the first defense you click here and also 
to trade openness we have to we want to test for first difference you can you can add them here you can add first difference of selected variables here so let's go to the unit roots so meanwhile you have to put it on the first difference and go to variable then go to unit root so let's do it for this one then at like zero maybe you can increase it to like three and also so individual results we are testing with constant so you can click on ok and as you can see here it shows that the first difference they still have a unit root check you can see from this point so we can go back it depends sometimes it depends on the lag you're using so this point let's say somebody will use lag one and click on this one and you can see here so you can see they are zero zero and it means that there is no unit root at first difference this says that there is no unit root at first difference that is follows the same logic so you need to put them into your table let's go for trade openness so trade openness you go with trade openness we go to unit root now we should cancel this one we are doing it for llc this one and click on this one you can see there is no unit root so we can also do it for adf first we can start with trade openness so adf like this you can see it there's zero zero here so zero zero means there is no unit root as you can see at five percent we are rejecting the null hypothesis and sticking with the alternative and also when you go to gdp you can do it for gdp as well then click on ok you can see it tells so so we can state that when the phase difference is applied the variables do not have a unit root and as you can see from this side at levels the variables have unit root and at first difference there is no unit root in the variables thank you very much for your time and i hope to see you in my next episode thank you